Karanji, should I be worried? I think I can trust the number one channel of the country. That's your channel. And I can trust Excess, which has been accurate for the last six times, including one in Bihar, with their prediction. And uh, Mr. Singhvi, while you remember Bihar, you forget that subsequent to Bihar, there has been Assam, there's been West Bengal, there's been Tamil Nadu, and there's been uh, uh, Kerala. And they have been right there. So let's not have sour grapes. All right. Issue is your poll, Karanji, itself says we are winning between 251 to, to 279 seats. With this kind of a prediction from a company which is most credible today, I'm, I have done cephology for years. And let me tell you one thing, I mean, I understand the credibility of organizations in cephology. Okay. There is very good reason for us to believe the accuracy of what your own channel has shown. Thank you, Mr. Sir. Last, Let me put it like this. Week. Your flattery is not just justified, the it's also very welcome. Stop. However, your flattery this evening won't remove the doubts on the horizon. You may hope it does, but credibly speaking, those doubts remain. But let me bring you in, Ashok Marik. Answers <laughs> confirms two things. One, that such an alliance is possible. Two, whether it happens or not depends upon the Chief Minister, which still is Akhilesh Yadav. And three, as you said, let's wait for tomorrow. Absolutely, let's wait for tomorrow. But by the way, let me very quickly before I come to Punjab, bring you in Sudhan Shumitra. The real danger now, from the answer you've heard from Jui Singh, is if you come into the category of something like 150, 160, or even possibly 170 seats, and you're 30 and more short, you could be thwarted. You may be single largest, but they may well get together, and it's possible that they'll be cemented by their desire, which they share in common, to keep you out. Mr. Mittal, that could be an outcome that you dread. Could I? Let him answer, and then I'll come okay. to you. Karanji, the analogy used for this, the, the analogy used for this scenario is Bihar. That if Lalu and uh, Nitish ji can come, why can't Mayavati ji and Akhilesh come together? There's a critical difference. Lalu ji was already a convict, so he was not eligible to become chief minister. Here, are you suggesting, I don't know what Juhir Singh ji is suggesting, that Mayavati ji will yes. be the chief minister and Akhilesh will follow her, and followed by Rahul Gandhi's party? Or, do you think it's a possibility that Mayavati will work as a deputy chief minister under Akhilesh Yadav? Well, the, the theoretical answer may be there, but the practical answer, I have given it to you. So, you know, Ashok Malik, there's, there's no doubt that... that be, I don't care. There's but no doubt, Ashok no Malik, that Sudhanshu Mittal is pointing out real problems. The, the, but the alternative is that if the BJP stops at 150, 160, or even arguably 170... Yeah, certainly if the results are as per what the polls are showing, Certainly, it will be a very dreadful result and uh, will le leave us with a lot of introspection. I mean, there can't be a denial that if that is the result, then it's a re complete rejection. So, well... Very well chosen words, Mr. Mittal. You can live with truth. those tomorrow. If we have to eat them, and, they uh, definitely won't give you indigestion. You've certainly covered yourself for tomorrow. Raghav Chattu Mittal, the second state where a Congress government could conceivably fall is Manipur. One poll gives Congress a majority, and that is worth your remembering, but the other makes the BJP a clear number one, although short of a majority. Let me ask you this question. Which would be, from your point of view, sweeter? Winning Manipur or winning Uttarakhand? Uttarakhand winning would certainly be very, very sweet. But currently, having worked for a very long time in Northeast and being emotionally connected to Northeast, Manipur is bound to be sweeter for me personally. You know, that's one state where we'll get into the foray for the first time. And I think that's going to be a great this thing. After Assam and then a government in Arunachal, having a government in uh, Manipur would be a monumental step towards uh, having a footprint all over the country for BJP okay. and also uh, Congress for Bharat. Let's come. More importantly, more importantly, more okay. importantly. That's a very honest answer. Let's Uttarakhand come to... Uttarakhand has a history. Okay. Uttarakhand Let's come, Let's come Sharad Pradhan, to Goa. That's an... 
currently there's a gospel truth which is nothing succeeds like success and nothing fails and like nothing failure and nothing fails like failure and nothing having fails like so, failure remember let, let me let me elaborate having said so please allow me to finish na allow me to finish having said so there are people who do not fight out of fear of failure but the real leadership is irrespective of victory or defeat it does it does what it believes in mm. you talked about demonetization so you got There's an answer ready to the problem i put to you but because it was in national interest so you've got the answer to the problem i put to you nothing ventured nothing gained he, he it's better to no. fight and lose then not Karen, fight you, you at are, all you, brave words you, and probably correct words because it gives you a chance to fight you, another day with i've got what just is all about? i've just got one what? question left and that is a what? and this is clearly a message for the viewers the weatherman is predicting rainfall tomorrow and maybe the downpour will dampen the spirits of the congress and the bjp but no matter how much it rains it will be sunshine for arvind kejriwal because the outcome in punjab and the outcome in goa whether he actually ends up forming a government there or not is something that he can justifiably be very pleased about and take great pride in the sun will be shining for arvind kejriwal and the aam aadmi party no matter what the actual weather condition what an interesting fascinating outcome and who would have thought it possible that's why politics and elections are so exciting my thanks to all my guests for joining me and if you have been thanks for watching watch out for the results tomorrow goodbye good night